Hello, fire signs. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot. So Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for your weekly reading for November 3rd through the 10th here for any fire sign, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. So if any of those apply to your chart, you're in the right place. You can scroll through each individual sign until you find the one that you're looking for because each sign will get their own individual weekly reading here. We are having a Mercury retrograde that began on Halloween and I think it goes through November 20th. It's in Scorpio. So Scorpio rules um, rules death, rules sex, rules um, other parts of relationships, um, honesty or dishonesty. So for those of you that have a relationship that um, hasn't been honest, there may be more things that come out or it may also be a time to revisit that relationship and try to get it into a better place. Also maybe a time if you have people in your friend circle who are no longer serving you, and this is for any sign, um, they may be exiting this month. You may decide you're just kind of done with it and that could end up being a permanent solution. So again, we don't want to live our life by Mercury retrogrades or tarot either. The best thing you can do is to align with your source energy and manage your own vibration. So the things that you want in your life will manifest and the things that don't serve you will exit on their own. It, they will just be moved along by the universe. So um, thank you to everyone too who subscribed. I really appreciate that. Please keep subscribing and watching these videos. They're um, again, something I just want to give back and something I've been doing a long time. So I'm glad you're here. So let's start off with Aries here. November 3rd through the 10th for Aries. And then at the end, I'll give you a Louise Hay, Life Loves You card for each sign too. Move those out of the way a second. Okay, the sun, page of pentacles here, and the four of wands. Eight of wands, five of cups, queen of pentacles, the star, judgment, interesting. And the Three of Cups, very interesting. So the, the recent past events um, actually look like a time of happiness for you guys with the Sun and the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Um, you could be dealing with a an Earth sign. There's water here, Aquarius, Leo, um, Earth, if I didn't say it, fire. So um, in any event, it actually looks like things in the pa recent past have been Pretty stable. Could be about money, though. Could be that money was stable with the sun and the page of pentacles where maybe you got an offer. But you also have the four of wands here, which is, uh, you know, this is um, symbolic. These columns are symbolic of a, a Hindu uh, wedding chapel or, um, if I, well, in Hindu weddings, they have um, four pillars. Anyway, could this is also a reunion card. So if you were happy to be reunited with somebody, this is for you. Um, and maybe you were in a reunion with somebody and you haven't had much communication. That's what I'm getting right now, kind of your current energy is there's gonna be communication coming back in. Um, and somebody here has a little bit of regret going on too with this. So maybe there was a reunion and, and something happened that just kind of got things back off kilter again. Um, but I, I do see right now your current energy is bringing in a lot of stability with money with this Queen of Pentacles here. So if you've been concerned at all about men, money at all, you have the Page of Pentacles and the Queen. And those are both about manifestation and offers coming. So if you're somebody who has been diligently meditating, working at aligning yourself, just kind of being in that, being in flow, being in that happy place, um, it's, it's, your judgment is coming due, I'll tell you that. And it may, might not be this next week because sometimes the time with these is not completely, you know, it's, it's, time is fluid, right? So it's, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily in the next seven days, but here's the star. So this is either Aquarius, could be, or it's also in the upcoming future, you're going to have some kind of, I see some kind of vac like a, a vacation retreat kind of a thing where it's going to be very relaxing, rejuvenating, maybe a trip to the beach, somewhere where you're just going to feel really good and 
rested, rejuvenated. I keep hearing rejuvenated. And if you've been waiting for a decision on something, that's also going to be coming in with judgment, but not anything negative. It's definitely with the star card, things are going to be getting more settled for you, Aries. So I also see too, with this three of cups, you got a couple of reunion cards here. Um, so if there's somebody from your past that you were kind of on and off again, they're going to be coming back in with this. And it's possible too, that you might even go on a weekend getaway with somebody. Um, it all looks very nice, very nice energy coming in. And I don't, even though you've got the judgment and the three of cups here, I don't see this as a third party. It's going to be something where, again, I just keep getting reunion, reunion, reunion. So for somebody, you are definitely going to be reuniting. It's going to feel so good if you're hearing peaches and herb right now in your head. That is for you. Um, so here's your Life Loves You card. I love being me, Aries. Stop trying to be so normal. Be more of the real you. Show the world who you are. Yeah, and for Aries, that's perfect. You're not generally shy about showing who you are. So um, very nice week ahead for you guys. I really like this a lot for you. And um, we will go ahead and do Leo next here. So let's see what's going to go on for Leo. Keep that out there. And then just take a peek at the bottom of the deck. I just happened to turn this over with the chariot. This is going to be for all signs. With that star card in the chariot, I definitely think some of you are going to be going on a trip. So for Leo here, Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Well, money has been good for some of you. Ace of Swords here. Nine of Cups. I'm sorry, did I say Nine of Cups before? I meant Nine of Pentacles. Maybe I was hearing Nine of Cups because it was coming. King of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles here. Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Very nice, Leo. So you may have been coming out of an, an, a time here where you were definitely single. I get that with um, the Seven of Pentacles and... The Nine of Pentacles here, somebody was working on financial stability and not really interested in a relationship. I do think you had an offer at some point with that Knight of Cups, or it's possible you, you made an offer that wasn't necessarily taken up on and you just got focused on yourself and building your finances. I keep getting that a lot for Leo, a lot of financial stability. So your current energy, you're going to be making... A, fresh start with something here. This could possibly be career because you have so many pentacles in this thing. Um, but I definitely think somebody is going to be breaking clean from anything that's been holding you back. You're just not going to care about it as you move forward into this week. There's a lot of, I feel a lot of confidence in general for you guys. Um, you know, this is definitely this nine of cups. It can sometimes be somebody who's out drinking, but for you, I don't get that at all. I feel like it's more, um, you know, kind of like this sense of accomplishment, pride, stability, especially with this King of Pentacles here. This is somebody who's very good in business. If you, again, for you, I keep getting this money, business, career kind of stuff. Um, if you've been doing, working on some kind of a, a venture, some kind of a business-related venture, or it could possibly be somebody from work, but I'm getting more... If you're working on something like that, money is going to be really good for you. Um, with this five of pentacles, you may be leaving somebody behind. With the Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, I don't feel like this is going to be you getting left behind, but I do see where you may, some of you may decide there are things, people who are holding you back and you're just not going to deal with them anymore as you come into this new energy. And you've got... The Six of Cups, so could be, this is a manifestation card, but it also can be some kind of a return from an X. But I do see with this Ten of Wands, you're going to continue to work hard, but I don't feel like it's going to be so overburdening like you're just carrying the weight on of the world on your shoulders. I do think there's, there's going to be, um, you know, a period of time where, 
you really see kind of the fruits of your labor. You see things coming to fruition and your work is not without reward. So the things that you've been doing are going to be highly rewarded. Um, so I do see you continuing to kind of forge ahead, especially with this chariot in the mix here. So you're moving forward, but it's not going to be to the, the point where you're just exhausted and it's so much effort. It's You've just got a nice momentum. So whoever that is for, you've got a nice momentum coming in. Um, your Louise Hay card, I give what I want to receive. So you put in the time and the effort, the universe will give back. You take one step, the universe will take two for you, Leo. We need to give what we want to receive. When you experience any lack in your life, ask yourself, what am I not giving? Okay, so what am I not giving here? So very nice for you in the week ahead. Again, with time being what it is, could be um, coming in even like the months ahead. So keep going, you're on the right path. Now let's hear about Sagittarius next. All right, Knight of Wands. Four of Cups, Nine of Swords. So I feel like you're coming out of an energy with dealing with somebody who is very immature. Um, Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, Temperance, Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So, yeah, I think some of you Sagittarius were dealing with a relationship where the person was extremely immature and you just could not get settled with them. It was like an on and off kind of thing, hot and cold, um, you know, breaking up, getting back together. And I think you just got sick of it. I don't think this was you. I think it was the other person doing this. Um, you have pretty much every, every element here. I don't see a lot of water in this, but I see Aries, definitely earth, air, fire. So, yeah, I think that it was causing you a lot of stress and just wasn't like, it just isn't fun to be with someone like that who's so inconsistent and you don't know what you're going to get from them. So your current energy, you're going to have a new offer. Um, I think some of you, it's going to be a, definitely a new offer of love. And also, too, um, money is going to be really stable. You might also have a venture. I do see this more as love in some ways. Um, with the emperor, too, again, this is somebody who's very stable, very, you know, it's a, like a, a feeling of prominence is kind of what I'm getting from this. And, you know, with the temperance, if you've been stagnant in something, you're going to have forward movement. That's what's coming for you. Now, you do have the Knight of Swords here coming in. And what I tell you with that is just be kind of cautious. It's communication that comes in quickly and catches you off guard. And I would just tell you kind of that restraint of pen and tongue is your best to approach with that. Sagittarius can be kind of quick um, to respond to things. And for you, it would be better, you know, sometimes you're better off not saying anything. You know, it's like, well, you have to ask yourself, should it be said and should it be said by me? Sometimes you're just better off observing a situation and not getting into it. You know, one of my favorite things to say, especially if somebody starts coming at me like this is, look, I'm just not going to participate in this and walk away because anything you say can and will be used against you with somebody like this. So you have to be careful, but you have the 10 of pentacles. So this is happiness in every area, happy family, happy union, happy, um, stable money. Um, so with this, I think what's going to happen is you've got that king of swords. So you've got kind of this immature energy these with these two knights. And they're just kind of impulsive. Somebody who's impulsive. And sometimes that can seem like fun in a short term. But in a long term situation, it can get tedious. So I think you're going to be kind of no nonsense in your approach. Be careful. Kind of calibrate your words and, and mind your words. But in the end, you're going to get that stability that has been missing. So very good for you guys. I express my gratitude. Make gratitude your spiritual practice today. Start with, good morning, bed. Thank you for being so comfortable. I love you. The more you express gratitude, the more you will find 
to be grateful for. You know, I've even sat down, because I've traveled a lot, I've even sat down and listed off all the trips. I mean, and it's, I mean, I've probably traveled to 50 countries easily. Um, and, and that's a fun thing to do. And it really gets me in that mood of like, wow, I have manifested a ton of awesome things into my reality. And those kinds of things, sometimes when we are deliberate creators and we're good at manifesting, we can get a little bit almost complacent, like we don't recognize how the universe has brought so many things because we're always expanding and looking for more. So um, very good for you guys. And I am going to just here at the end show the outcome for all three signs here, just as a reminder. Um, so we've got, we have got Aries, whoops there, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here for this next week. So um, thank you again for watching. I'll be back in a week to give you the next weekly reading. I love you. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you again next week.